Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 376. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 371 to 376. Hey, this is in response to Excel Statistics 28 stem and leaf chart. Now, in that video, we had a data set and we used this formula. Oh, my heavens. Actually, it's not that complicated if you go watch it. It's just one piece that you copy and paste. But what it is, is it counted the stems. These are the tens and these are the individual digits. So you can see the 33. 36, 33, 30, 30. There was a 3 and a 0, which means there's one 33, and a 0 means one another 30. 3 and a 33, three, that's a 33, 3 and a 6, that means 36. It's a way of getting a distribution uh, and a frequency and everything one and, and retain the individual values. We're not just counting. You can see that there's four of them in the 30 group, but you can also see the individual values. But the question is, what happens if there's more than two digits? Someone uh, posted this comment. Oh my heavens, this is going to get nasty. If you don't like big nasty array formulas, then go ahead and turn this one off. But here it is. We have some values, and you got to sort them first so that all the 18s are at the top, all the 19s, all the 2000s, however many you have. Then you do the max and the min just so you can see how many categories you need. You have to put an 18, 19, 20. We count, which will be an interesting formula, how many 18s there are from this number here. And then this is what we want to return. Again, just like the last one, we have an 18 and a 0, 0, an 18 and a 0, 4. The end of it, you can count. Actually, this column will be removed after we're done creating the formula, and you'll just see the stem and the leaf. But you can see the individual uh, data points, the, uh, are there, that detail is not lost. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can count that there's five of them. Okay, here's how we do it. Uh, let me zoom in a little. All right, the first thing we need to do is count how many 18s. From this data set, which has a bunch of uh, uh, four-digit numbers, we need to count based on this criteria. We're going to use some product. Some product can deal with trues and falses in an array. We are going to have an array of trues and falses. We want one, two, three, four, five trues, and we need to convert them to one, so we're going to use double negative. Open parentheses, and here's how for our first array, or our only array, we're going to get our trues and falses. Well, how do we match this to this? Notice the 18s, the 19s, the 20s, those are all the first two digits on the left, so we're going to use the left function. This text is expecting a uh, single value. The fact that we put in a whole bunch of values here, uh, we're converting the left to an array. That's why we put it in some product. So we say all of those and comma two. We want the left of all of those. Now, just quickly, let's highlight this and see what we get. Hit the F9 key. Notice we get 18s, 19s, etc. Notice that they're in quotes. That's very important. That means they're text. Control Z to undo that. We are going to say equals this. Actually, I need to uh, lock this in all directions, so I'm going to hit the F4 key there and the F4 key there. Here, because we need the 18 on this whole row here when we copied across the columns, but when we go down, we need it to move to 19. We need to hit the F4 key and lock it just in front of the column reference. Now, what if I um, highlight that and hit the F9 key? You see how it's 18? That's a number. It's not in quotes. Control-Z. Now, let's highlight all of this, the series of trues and falses. Um, hit F9, false, 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 because, control Z, these are all text, these are all numbers. They are, there are no matches. So there's a couple ways to do this. We're going to use the fixed function. You could use the text function also. It just takes a number and converts it to text. Um, comma, how many decimals? Zero. So there we go. Now we can have our trues and falses right here. Uh, F9, so we have the trues. We've matched a text 18 with a text 18, control Z. We have to close parentheses. Watch this green right here when I type this. That means, and then the double negatives will convert those to ones and zeros, and the sum product will add. Control Enter. That's not an array formula because we're not using Control Shift Enter. You don't see any curly brackets there. Double click and send it down. Now, we need the count because we're going to have to drag a formula over here. And we want the formula to turn off. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, once it gets to here, we want it to show a blank. So here's what we're going to do, equals if. And how are we going to get a number to increment inside of a formula? We're copying it across the columns, so we're going to use the columns 
function columns. We're sitting in K31, so you have to put dollar sign to lock the column. K31 colon K31. Right now it says how many columns are between K and K? One. This is locked, this is not. When it moves to the next one, we'll say K and then L, so it will be two. That increments a number. Hey, whenever that number, one, two, three, four, five, is less than or equal to this, and we'll hit the F4 key to lock it in front of the column, then we want what? Notice when this column number incrementer gets past above 5, 6, 7, uh, that'll be our false value, and that's when we'll put a blank so it'll show up as a blank. But we want our true here, and that's going to be value of true, our index function. This is how we retrieve our values. Now, what do we want to retrieve? Remember, with the sum product here, we use the left because we want to analyze the first two. But for the index, for the leaf, we need to return the last two. So we're going to use right. Right. And again, it's just like the left. We're going to put in a bunch of uh, values here. So this is an array. I'm going to have to lock this in all directions, F4 comma 2, right? So it'll just extract all of the uh, last two digits, and that will be the array. The actual index is looking just at the last two and will extract, for this row, only the ones that are associated with the 18. If you highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see that that's, in fact, what it is. It extracts. It gives us an array of just the last two digits. Control Z. Now, the tricky part is the row, right? Right now we need row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as we copy this way. So how are we going to do that? With the small function, small. Now the array, we're first going to have to tell it, hey, look at the first two digits. When it matches this, then give us a true. And then that, so the, the array is not going to be right, but back to left. And we highlight this whole range here. You have to lock it in all directions, comma, two, close parentheses. So now, this, oops, I forgot the if up here. If left is equal to, and then same thing here, kind of like we did with the sum product. That's locked in front of the column. So right now, inside the small, uh, this argument right here, this array, if left, it'll give us a bunch of trues and falses. Now, what do we want if we get a true, which means it's an 18? We need the row number. So comma, value of true, it's going to be row. Row of all of these, and I'm going to lock it in all directions. Now, right now, what does it do? It'll give us 28, 29. We don't want that, so we go minus row of this first one and lock that in all directions. Well, 28 minus 28 won't work. That'll give us 0, so we have to add 1 again. That's the value if true. Co uh, close parentheses, that is our array. Notice this if looked at the left, which gave us match the 18. It gave us a bunch of trues. And then all the rows gave us the row numbers. And that's that whole array. Actually, why don't we just do it? Let's highlight this and hit the F9 key. What does it give us? Gives us a bunch of falses everywhere. Control Z. That's not quite right. Oh, and it's not right because of this. Um, in fact, if we analyze this right here, and hit F9, it just gives us false, 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 right? Because we forgot to use our fix. But guess what? This time I'm going to show you a different way ampersand double quote. What it does is it's adding nothing, a blank to the end. But by adding the blank to the end, it, get, it creates text. Again, just like we did with the fix, you can hit the uh, F9 key and see that now that's 18. Control Z. If I highlight the left and the amp, the the 18 from right here with the uh, ampersand, F9, you can see finally we get our trues, Control-Z. And finally, now inside of the uh, small, we'll get our array of true of, of row numbers. So F9, and there it is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for the 18, and the rest are false, Control-Z. Now, what do we do? How do we get that? Because it's an array, right? Oops. 
it's an array, one, two, three, four, five. Well, we can't dump them all into this cell right here. We need to then use this columns piece here to successively s s uh, extract the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. So I'm going to highlight this right here. Actually, I'm going to control Z, highlight this one right here. Control C, come down to the end. The array for the small we already have, but we got to do comma, and what is the K? We need successively one, two, three, four, five, so we'll use our columns, close parentheses on the small. Notice how this screen tip is very helpfully, helpful. Our row numbers we have for extracting this data here, so we close parentheses on that. Finally, we need, that's our value of true, so we hit comma, value of false, double quote for blank once we get past our five. Close parentheses, this is a big array formula with lots of rights and lefts. Control shift and enter. Click and drag it over, click and drag it down. You gotta be kidding me. Is that totally ridiculous? Now, uh, really, we want to move this. I'm gonna uh, hold shift. This is a great trick. Shift and click and drag. And this is a hard one. This is like with the old pivot tables. You wanna stop when you see the gray bar like that and it actually moves it. <laughs> moves it. So I want the count outside. Now we have our stem and our leaf. Now if I change this to 1899, 1899, just like that, that shows up and that one disappears. All right, uh, that was a ridiculous uh, array formula. Lots of cool tricks, left and right, even some ampersanding with a blank to convert to text. We'll see you next trick.